of my most favorite hair growth ingredients to promote super fast hair growth. Right here, I'm starting with a fresh aloe plant. And then I'm going to just chop this white part off. And I'm going to cut roughly one to two inch pieces to use on my hair. These two pieces should be enough for your entire head. This is all I use for my entire head. And once you get them all cut up, you want to cut off those sharp edges and cut them as thin as possible. Once you are through trimming up your edges, you can just sit those pieces to the side for a second just so you can wrap up the rest of your aloe plant for the next time you use it. Um, I am fresh out of saran wrap, so I'm using the next best thing, which is a sandwich bag. And I'm just going to fold it over tightly and place it in the refrigerator. Okay, now back to your one inch pieces. You're just going to cut those in halves and you're going right into the part that you trimmed. I'm just going to slit it open like so. And then you will have fourths and a little goes a long way. Here is my second ingredient that promotes fast hair growth as well. It is my homemade rice water shampoo bar. I made it because I got tired of my rice water going bad. So I just put it into a shampoo bar and I can pull it out whenever I get ready. And it is so awesome to combine with this aloe. It gives amazing results. So I have my three oils of choice, coconut oil, which promotes longer hair and thicker hair and removes buildup from the hair follicles. Then I have my avocado oil, which strengthens the hair shaft and prevents breakage. Then you have your olive oil, which protects your hair from sunlight damage and it rebalances the hair. And I'm not going to put a specific amount, I'm just eyeballing it to how much I think I would need for my hair. I'm just putting, making sure I have almost the same amount of every oil. And right here, I'm just breaking it down a little bit so I can put it in the microwave and it can just melt a little faster. Okay, right here, I'm ready to use my aloe and my oil. I divided my hair into four sections and I parted it as even as possible. But keep in mind, my hair is not detangled, so it's kind of hard to get even parts. And you guys know that the more even your parts are, the less chance of breakage. But I didn't have that luxury because my hair is not detangled, as I said before. And I'm starting here with my aloe, and yes, it is fun to pull it apart. I'm just going to go by rubbing it on my scalp, on each section, just around the scalp. just want to make sure I get it all over my top part of my hair that's closest to my scalp. And make sure I get it down inside the scalp. So I will be dividing this subsection into other sections and just get it down on the scalp and you also want to part this part evenly but like I said again my hair is not detangled so my parts are not completely straight that's when you think your aloe has dried out it's okay just take it and push down on it like so and more gel will come to the top and repeat if you guys have made this far into this video, I guess it's kind of safe to say you guys enjoy watching what you see. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that red button. It is always free. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can see the latest that's going on on this channel. And if you don't mind, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. You just want to make sure you massage it into your scalp really well and don't forget to lift up your hair and find any missing spots that you forgot to put the aloe and rub it on there you want your hair to be saturated at the scalp with this aloe I forgot to mention that you will need a spray bottle my spray bottle is filled with distilled water and I'm just going to spray my ends just to get ready to put the oil all over the ends of my hair and here's my oil after I've warmed it up in the microwave. I'm just going to rub it all the way from the top to the bottom of my hair and really paying close attention to the ends of my hair.
and you want to just massage your scalp like so and y'all and I didn't say it before but this aloe feels so freaking good on your scalp it's so refreshing and then you can take this time to try to finger finger detangle your hair a little so it won't be so tangled when you wash it out and get ready to comb it out now that I finished this section I'm just going to twist it up just to keep it out the way Now I'm starting on the back section and I'm just going to repeat every step I did in the first section. Okay, now I am finished with this back part and don't forget to massage it in very well. It stimulates blood flow into your scalp. I'm just going to twist it up and repeat on the next two sections. Here's an up close look at how moisturized my twists are. They are nice and juicy. And at this point, you can let the mask sit for at least 30 minutes or you can let it stay overnight. But for me, I'm just going to wait 30 minutes and wash it out. At this point, my hair has set for 30 minutes and it's ready for me to wash.
here I'm taking my rice water shampoo bar and I'm going to wet my hair and wet the shampoo bar to start the washing process. And I'm going to wash it section by section just so I can show you guys how the shampoo bar works. Once I start to use the rice water shampoo bar, you don't see a lot of suds. It's because my hair is drenched in oil and aloe. But once I do this first rinse, it will be ready and set up a lot better. Okay, this is the second wash on this section and you guys will be able to see the suds come up and you can see how my hair is cleaner and it suds up a lot better. And you know your hair is squeaky clean because of the suds and how easy it is to sud up. And once I get through doing this, I like to massage it in a little bit and let my shampoo just sit for at least five minutes just to get all the nastiness or whatever kind of buildup on my scalp, get it off. Here's my hair after it's fully washed and detangled and detangling with a breeze because of course I use my back combing tangle teaser brush which you guys can click the link above to see my detangling um, process and also here is all the shedding that I did during this process is really hardly any shedding at all and this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to share this video because we all know that sharing is caring and I will see you guys in the next one.